On any given weekend here in Minnesota, you can find a small town festival, and many of them happen to revolve around food. Hopkins has raspberry days. Hinkley has the corn and clover fest. But Henderson, which is located southwest of the Twin Cities, has sauerkraut days. Emmy Roscoe is there live. She's getting her crowd on. I saw you take a big old forkful. I, I am so unhappy I did that. Uh, that was uh, not what I typically have for breakfast, but for some people, namely Hendersonians, kraut is the breakfast of champions. Uh, dating back to 1930, that was the first kraut eating contest. Um, this is the best part of all of it. You know, okay, Hopkins actually did used to grow raspberries, and I'm sure there is corn and Brooklyn Park and all those places. Th there is no reason, there was no reason to have sauerkraut days here. The founding fathers just thought it up, like wanted a promotion during the depression to get drum up business. And um, so that's how they came up with sauerkraut days. And it's been a hit ever since. Now, looking back in the Henderson history book, we see C.F. Bit Whitford. Now, um, Tom, tell me what, uh, what, what is the legend of Mr. Whitford? Well, Bit Whitford was one of the founders of sauerkraut days and one of the first sauerkraut contestants. He actually made it into the Ripley's, believe it or not, by eating eight pounds of kraut in two and a half minutes. Wow. And uh, they also, when they put the new addition on the high school in the 1930s, they built a special seat in the auditorium for him. It was about 50% bigger than the other seats because he was a big man. Very, big. something very, we can all be proud of here in Henderson. Yes, very, very proud. Um, okay, just to give you a taste of what the actual crowd eating contest is going to be like. Now, in that case, um, this weekend there will be four pounds of crowd, is it? Two pounds. Two pounds, pounds. Two pounds of crowd. Whoever finishes it first wins. And last year, the winner, I believe, ate it in one minute, four seconds. That was uh, a Brian from Young America did that. Two pounds of kraut. Here we have about a half pound. And in this corner, in the black T-shirt, we have Sam, the Candyman Dowser. You will notice that no forks are used. Forks only get in the way. That's the kraut technique. And over here in the green cap, we have Bob, the gearhead, Graham. Are you gentlemen ready? On your marks, get set, put your mouth to the crowd. There they go. Notice the squeezing. Notice the squeezing technique. Notice the squeezing and eating. I, I, I probably should have put a disclaimer for those of you eating your Cheerios this morning. Oh, th there's crowd all over the floor. Now, Bob, very meticulous with his eating. Very meticulous with his eating. Here it's more of a squeeze and shove technique. And do we have a winner? Do we have a winner? Do we have a winner? It looks almost like a dead heat. Oh, you have to say sauerkraut. Come on. Come on, Sam. Oh, there we go. There's the winner. There is your winner. Can I just tell you that, wow, you've actually gotten kraut juice all over the, the history book of your town. That's, that's wonderful. When we come back, kraut idol. Okay? Kraut idol. I think I'm suffering from kraut shock right now. Ugh. Are you? Are I'm you glad that didn't come up. House? Come back up. Well, if you're looking for something to do this weekend, how about enjoying some, uh, some sauerkraut? Which sauerkraut. I love. I love sauerkraut. Better yet, sauerkraut days in Henderson, uh, just south of the Twin Cities. It's on 169, and that is where we catch up with Emma Roscoe, who is there with a preview, and we saw a kraut off not long ago. <laughs> you did. And heavy is the head that wears the kraut crown. Um, <laughs> because that's a lot of kraut to eat. That is, a, somebody will be wearing this crown at the end of this weekend, and last year the winner won eight two pounds of kraut in one minute four seconds that's a lot of kraut in not much time and kraut eaters of the future are, are joining us ole and lena over here <laughs> ole with his crayon and um wow that's a little kraut juice running down there and there's lena also Aww. a future kraut eater um, now another item on the menu here at sauerkraut days is kraut idol and right now we are listening to brianna Lobs. She's singing Traveling Soldier. And um, I don't know, remember that little show, American Idol? Mm -hmm. You guys yeah. remember that at all? Something about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen that, I think. Yeah. Did, we ha did, did we show it over and over and promote it endlessly over and over and over? <laughs> well, they've got their own Kraut Idol. And um, don't worry about copyright infringement. It's, it's going to be okay. Um, anyway, that's, Bri <laughs> that's Brianna Lobs singing Traveling Soldier. Now, not for nothing, 
not just Crowd Idol. No, there's another competition that we got a little taste of. And um, Jeff Steinborn, tell us about this one. This one involves water hoses at high pressure. Yes, this involves some of Henderson's finest in the annual water fights. <laughs> and that takes place this Sunday right after the parade. I think you're watching some of the uh, queens. Royalty, the yes. Royalty, Casey Meyer, Jessica Wagner, and Alyssa Tesh. Okay, and, and people get really wet. And um, I guess it's a, it's a great opportunity, instead of using like water pistols, to really go at it with a water fight. I mean, this is a full-on water fight. That's right. Uh, usually the losing team brings the nozzle down and blasts the other team. <laughs> and a little payback. <laughs> okay, I like that. Um, now, we're going to hear from yet another Kraut Idol contestant. And um, this is Stacy Gross, and she's going to be singing I'm Digging It. And I think, I think we're ready to go. Here you go. Crowning the crowd, Thank King you, Queen. Thanks, we can look forward to that a little bit yeah, later on. Got a little crowd right there. Yeah, yeah, you got some crowd right here. For more information on the festival, which runs through Sunday, go to fox9.com, click on morning, and then click on morning links.